Hey, what's up guys? It's Shaq, and as you can see in front of uh, you, and probably if you read this video, the title of this video, you already know what this video is about. But just to have an intro, you can see there's a Best Buy bag in front of me, and no, it's not an Apple bag, uh, simply because the Apple store was fucking crazy when I walked in, so I just walked right out. Uh, but there is a Best Buy bag in front of us, that means we do have something for you guys to see for an unboxing. So let's go up and what do we have? We have an iPhone. Alright, so let's take it out of the bag and let's see what we have here. Now, this is the black color iPhone right here. If we look closely, you can see it's 128 gigabytes and the color is black. Now, this is not the jet black, this is just the black. Um, simply because, first of all, I couldn't find any plus models at all, so it was nearly impossible to find a plus model. And then, aside from just not being able to find the Plus model, I also could not find any jet black iPhones or any 256GB iPhones of that matter. So, I ended up getting the black iPhone with 128GB and uh, it's the regular size. And we're just going to do an unboxing on this, show you guys what this phone is and uh, how the new packaging is. Now, I do already notice there's some kind of new packaging. Because normally we have to whip out our unboxing knife, our watermelon unboxing knife, and we already know that. But uh, for this one, we might not need this, so let's leave this on the side for now. On this box, unlike the other iPhone boxes and the boxes we've always had, there's a tab right here, which I, have, I haven't unboxed one of these yet, so this is all new to me. So I'm going to go ahead and start by pulling this tab, see where it leads us. Now, I think this is like when you first buy, you know, the phone inside. They have a tab like this. So I'm guessing this is just going to open up the box for me. Yep, it looks like that. So, it's just going around. You can probably see the clear cover. It's just like, it's like the same clear cover you would get on in the inside of the phone. Now, I don't know if this inside of the phone is going to have something different. But this clear cover is just the same kind of clear cover you would find on the inside of the phone when you bought any other iPhone. So this is a new, something new as far as unboxings go. Uh, so we'll put that to the side. Alright, now we'll look at the box real quick right before we open it. Uh, this is engraved right here and it feels good. Um, you can see that's the front of the box, iPhone. You can see the iPhone 7. Side just says iPhone. This side has Apple, iPhone, Apple. The back has of course all the information on it. All my personal information you guys really should not see but it's all good I don't give a fuck I mean what the fuck who cares I don't really care anyway so we're gonna open the box now th this box is actually opening really easily if you watch any of my other unboxings or if you ever unbox an iPhone box you would know you have to like literally jiggle on them so hard in order to get the cover off this cover is coming off really easy as I can already tell so I'm gonna go ahead and just take it right off all right, that's something new too. So this is the cover, just like before. It's pretty hard. It's good material, as always. It actually feels a little more harder and more solid than you know the other ones. They felt more like cardboard. This feels more like plastic, to be honest with you. But it's a good feeling, and we'll put that to the side. All right, and then over here, unlike normally, we don't see the phone yet. Uh, there's no phone here yet. Instead, we have a design by Apple thing and a little place to pick it up from here. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, and the phone's underneath. I can see it. I'm not going to show you guys that yet. Let's just look inside this pamphlet, see what we have here. Okay? So unlike the one, a book that opens, this book is like a closed. It's like a, opens like that. It's like, it's like a book. And that doesn't open up from the sides like we usually get. In here, we can see we have... Uh, some information about, you know, welcome to iPhone. We have a SIM card removal tool. That's good. Uh, I'm interested to see what SIM card this phone came with. Now, I did tell the guy to give me the Verizon model. So, uh, we'll see how that comes up. There's a couple warranty bullshit. There's Apple stickers. Now, we're going to keep this SIM card here for a second because I'm kind of interested when I get see this phone. Now there's another tab right there. We're going to pick that tab up, take the phone out. Let's take this phone out. Alright, there's the phone. So, that's the iPhone 7, guys. Uh, I'm going to put this to the side just for a second. 
Actually, before I put this aside, we're going to quickly just check the SIM card. Now, if you watch my videos frequently, you would know there's a video on, you know, how iPhone models are different and how some models don't come with a SIM card tool. I just want to open this up and see what's inside. There's nothing inside. There you go. It's empty. So pretty much this is a SIM free iPhone. Now, if you watch that video of mine, you would know that we, through buying and returning a shitload of phones, we realized that the only phones you get a SIM card, with, uh, SIM card tool with are the phones that come without a SIM card. So if your come, if your phone comes pre-activated with a Verizon SIM or a, uh, uh, you know, uh, either a blank SIM, it, you won't get a SIM card tool. So pretty much if you buy it with a carrier, you never get the SIM card tool unless you buy it SIM free, which comes without a SIM. And in that case, you do get the SIM card tool. And that's what happened in my case, even though I told the guy to give me the Verizon model simply because they don't come with a SIM free model until like December. Usually they don't give you the option of buying it SIM free. So I always get the Verizon model and I can get, I can make a video on that. I'll make it while I'm, you know, later while I'm not this busy. But I'll explain to you guys why I always buy the Verizon model iPhone in another video. So go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in that. And even if you're not, just in, just fucking subscribe because because I said so. Put that to the side. All right, we're gonna put the phone to the side. Look at the at the end, the right there. And let's look at what else we have in the box. Okay, we have a USB charging brick. And this has got that cover on it. This is also like. It's like the iPad covers. It's not like the iPhone clear cover. It's like a, oh, I don't know how to say this. It's like a, it's not see-through completely. It's like that. You know what I'm talking about. And this is a five watt, yeah, five volt battery uh, plug thingy. It's the normal one you always get, so I'll put that back. There's nothing underneath that. And then over here we have a tab to pull up the new headphones. We'll pull those up. I'll put that to the side real quick. And underneath that, we have the charger. And that's all we have there. So pretty much in this box, it's set up a little different as whereas before we would have the earphones, the charging, and then the charging brick. Now we have charging brick, earphones underneath, and headphones on top. I mean, charging underneath and earphones on top. I'm so fucking tired. I don't even know what I'm saying. Put that back there. Okay. And this is just a simple charging. It's just the regular iPhone lightning charging you would normally get. There's nothing new, nothing special about this. Throw that back in the bottom. What's special is these earphones, and that's what we're about to look at right now. We'll put this box to the side now, too. Alright, so these earphones are what's the new big thing. It's what's special. It's what everyone's been talking about. So here you can see we have an adapter. I'll take that out. Okay, and this is like, uh, I don't really like it, honestly. I'm not loving it. This will go into the bottom of your phone, obviously, and this will become an adapter. But what I don't like is this right here, this wire, like this piece of wire is like, ju it's just as flimsy as the regular iPhone wire. Like, I mean, the regular iPhone earpiece wire. So like, it's just as flimsy as this wire is normally. Now... Normally, I don't mind this wire. It's, you know, skinny enough. It's, you know, movable. I just felt like this piece right here, this should be a little more solid and, and harder, you know. Uh, even though I never had a problem with my original iPhone earphones breaking. They never broke on me. I mean, I've had them for years, and they never broke. I mean, I think I lost them once, and that was like two years ago. And those the ones I got after that have been running perfectly with me with forever. So no problems with that. I'm going to put this back now. And that's where that goes. See, that goes to the iPhone, iPhone, and that goes into your phones. Now, this on the other hand, there's a tab. I'm going to pull them. I'm going to pull the tab. It's like glued. All right. And there we go. That opens up. See the earphones right there. And these earphones come with a lightning connector in the back. So there's no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack in these. They come with this lightning connector. Now, what pisses me off is I don't have a set of earphones. I used to have a set of earphones, but uh, at, they came to a point where I just started using my iPhone earphones for everything. So even when I'm listening to something else, I'm you know uh, 
I don't know, for any occasion, I'm on my iPad or I'm on anything else, I always use my iPhone earphones. So even if I'm on an Android device, I use my Apple earpiece. I don't use, you know, a Skull Candy or a Monster or anything like that. I use these. So I wish there was an adapter that could go from here into the 3.5 millimeter jack. That would be nice. But, uh, you know, maybe in time, maybe as a extra $30 thing or something, maybe they'll, they'll sell that to us. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, and that, those are the earphones. Other than that, they're pretty they're much the same. And we'll throw those back back in the box. Uh, nothing special. Now, let's get to the phone. There's the phone. Now, this color looks great. I mean, this, this black is nice. Alright, I'm going to take off this plastic film. Now, this plastic film is the same we always get. So, nothing new there. Just rip it off from there, and the rest just falls off. There we go. Beautiful. Put that on the ground. That's my first time touching an iPhone 7. I mean, one that I own. I did it in the store, but that was... That was another thing. So, let's turn this phone on. Uh, there's a button right here. There we go. It's turning on. Still look around a bit. I'm actually liking the black color. I was... Actually going for the jet black color. Originally, I was uh, interested in getting the jet black color. But I might consider buying the black color now. Because it looks really good. I mean, this black looks like... It's just black. And the Apple logo is like... It's like jet black. Now, on the jet black models... I went to the store and I actually looked at this. The... All this is jet black. All this looks like that. And then that looks like this. So it's like these two things are flipped. So if you look at this, you know, it's like this color and this color is flipped on the jet black. So I wish, I kind of like this color everywhere, but at the same time, I like my Apple logo to be fancier than the rest of the phone. Just as like, I don't know, just that's something I like. So when I look at the rest of the phone, it's beautiful. I mean, I love the fact that they got the antenna lines out of the way. That was a huge improvement. The size of this phone is perfect in my opinion. Comes preloaded with iOS 10. Yeah, there's no headphone jack, which is, I mean, it's big news, but I feel like, just like every other thing Apple does, people will get used to it, people will adapt, and, but before we know it, it's going to be the new norm. So let's go ahead and set this up real quick. See what it needs. It probably is going to need it, oh, there we go. It's probably going to need a SIM card to start up. Yeah, I think it's going, yep, it's going to need a SIM card. We're not going to be able to start up without a SIM card. So anyway, what I can tell you for now, I mean, obviously iOS 10 is going to be iOS 10. But the feeling of this home button is just a lot better. Voice over on. Set voice over off. The feeling of this home button is just great. It feels good. I like the way it presses compared to the other ones. I mean, it's kind of different as whereas the button actually doesn't move, but... Because of the fact that iOS 10, you have to click the button in order to get into your phone. It just seems like a better thing to click, and it just seems more uh, advanced. So that's the iPhone 7, guys. That was an unboxing. I hope you guys liked it. If you didn't, uh, honestly, you guys got an issue. But that's the phone. Uh, thank God we didn't need to use our watermelon life. Because that could have been extremely dangerous. So stay tuned, guys. Subscribe. Like this video. If you didn't like it, uh, don't dislike it like a douchebag. Just click nothing. Just exit out or something. But uh, click the like button. Leave a comment. What do you think about the phone? Are you getting it? Uh, what do you think about iOS 10? I know I haven't made a video on iOS 10. I probably won't at this point because it's already out and everyone knows. I might consider making a video depending on how time goes and you know whether or not I get the chance to make one. I've been really busy with work and school. So haven't been able to get that so i'll let you guys know what's going on but other than that there's an unboxing hope you guys enjoyed it and uh you guys can follow me on instagram at shacks insta you could follow me on twitter at shacks tweets all that stuff is in the come in the description there's a watch giveaway you guys can look at look for that in the description as well and other than that if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and i'll answer them as soon as i can